The switchover to digital television has continued today in North East Wales. Viewers served by the Moyla Park transmitter, including Bala and Llangollen, will no longer be able to receive BBC Two on analogue. Every home in Wales is expected to have gone by March next year. Now, do you remember when television was simple and you did have to get off the sofa to change the channel? Everything, you can remember, I can too. It was, everything was in black and white and there were only three channels to choose from. Rather simple days. But now we have colour, multi-channels, widescreen and programmes in high definition. But it doesn't end there. Because from tonight, the BBC Two analogue signal will be switched off and you will have to have a free view box to see the channel. Well, Diane is in our technical area to explain more. Di. Evening to you. Well, if you're the kind of person who enjoys gadgets and technology, you will love a look around a place like this. This is our central technical area, CTA. You don't actually often get to take a look around a place like this, but it really is important. It really is the heart of where all BBC TV programmes in the Northwest are broadcast from. So, as we're all switching to digital very soon, we thought we'd trace the route that your programmes take from our studio floor to you. Well, they've sent me out of Manchester, and this is Winter Hill. It was built back in 1965. It beams programmes to three million households, which means seven million of you watch your TV courtesy of this transmitter. And the biggest change in television history is going to take place here. Let's go inside. So on Wednesday, when Edward here flicks these switches, BBC Two will no longer be broadcast in analogue. In December, all of the channels will be switched off, so unless you've got your digital freeview box and you've retuned, you will not be able to watch your television. Think about what that means. No Gordon, no Ranveer, no Tony. And to complete this mammoth engineering project, all that has to happen is somebody flicks this switch and BBC Two goes on digital. Why are we doing this, Joe? We're doing it because we need to clear up some airwaves, basically. Um, at the moment, not everyone can get free view. After we finish this, up to half a million new viewers can get free view for the very first time. So if I'm getting it for the first time, how do I access it? Really, what you need to do is to look at your options. One of the best and cheapest options is to get a free view box, One, something like this. Uh, slim, fairly cheap, about £20 now. Any of your electrical retailers sell them, including supermarkets. If I've got it at home already, but I haven't quite retuned, how hard is that? You need, everyone with Freeview needs to retune, and what you need to do is to go into your menu and then go into settings, and it will talk you through the process. Have a practice, don't be scared, you can't break your box, you know, just, and you'll need to do it on the 4th of November and also on the 2nd of December. And if you don't do it on the 4th, you don't get BBC Two. Exactly. Clear as mud? Well, don't worry, because the Digital UK helpline is open from 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and they'll be able to help you with any questions you have on 08456 50 50 50. Or you can go to the website, bbc.co.uk slash digital. So it all happens tomorrow. If you get your services via satellite or cable, don't worry, you don't need to do a thing. It's already been done for you. If you're on the Isle of Man, it's old news to you. You're already seeing programmes in digital. And what will happen tomorrow? The guys here at CTA, well, they're going to pull out this red link and BBC Two on analogue won't exist any longer. But that will not worry you, will it? Because you will have already retuned. Please, Gordon and Ranveer, tell me you've done it by now. Uh, yeah, and we have. Yes, we had the man yes. over this morning from uh, BBC Switch. I think my actually. television did it for me, actually. Yeah, well, yeah. as you can see, we're joined now by uh, Emma Worthington uh, from the Switchover Help Scheme. Now, let's just clear this up first, because there are two things going on here, aren't there? Firstly, a few weeks ago, there was a retune of our TV sets, and that meant that some That's people right. have ended up with different BBC regions. So you might get BBC Leeds or BBC Wales, even though you live right here in the northwest. So why is that, and what can be done about That's it? That's fine. The retune a few weeks ago was for everybody. It wasn't for a region, and that was a national retune that was to do with Channel 5 and its position in the order of things. If you find that your channels have moved around a bit, have a look down, usually to around the 800s, and you'll find the channel that you're used to, hopefully. You can put that then in your favourites on your remote control and back in the place where it used to be. Sorry, when you say look down to the 800, I'm, I'm not with you, I'm not technical. On your menu, yeah. there's the EPG, what's called an EPG, and it comes up and tells you what channel you're watching. Right. They all have numbers on, yes. from 1 to around 80, around, you know, about 8, 900. <laughs> and if you scroll down to those, you'll find the channel 
that you want. So you just got to do a bit of digging around it. It's there. You haven't lost the BBC Northwest. It is there. They've just moved around a bit, and you can put it back where it wants to. All right. We've got emails. And yeah, well, the emails have started coming in. So here we go. Jonathan Snowden in Arnside wants to point out that some viewers in the South Lakes and Isle of Man have already been switched over. Now Diane mentioned that a minute ago. They don't have to worry about anything, do they? Good way of knowing if you've already switched over, because some people are think they have to do something more, is if you've got more than five channels, you're digital ready. So that could be either with a sky box, free view box or cable. Either of those options, you're ready to more go. More than five channels, you don't have to do a thing. Yeah, and sorted. border region went in the summer. Right, okay. now for people who do have one to, channel only one to five, this is Arthur Stuttard who asks, what about televisions without SCART sockets? That's the socket to plug a digi box into and we had that problem this morning at our house. So yeah. I think it's really important that viewers understand you don't have to throw your tally away. And even if you don't have a SCART socket, you can actually get a free view box um, that doesn't need a SCART socket. So you need to just get down to your shop, say, I haven't got a SCART socket, and there are free view boxes that can actually, I think it's called an RSA lead, that can actually deal with that. So there's no reason why you can't convert a telly. Right, we have three questions we'd like to get in, and very little time left for short answers to these. Scott Roberts in Liverpool asks, what will happen to CFAX? He uses it every day. CFAX will still be there, it'll just be a different version of it. Red button, it'll still be on there. Okay. Uh, why did you lose channels when it rains, Peter Heatley wants to know? Rain is always a problem, but the good news is when the digital signal gets stronger on the 2nd of December, that signal will get 10 times stronger and that should happen less frequently. And why do some people only get 15 channels on preview when uh, they're advertising That's as more than That's quite a technical 40? answer, quite a technical answer, because if you're on a relay uh, aerial rather than the big Winter Hill one that we saw in that package, you will only get up to 15 channels, but you still get more than the analogue, so that's the good news. Okay. So That's stuff. brilliant, thank you. You made that very clear. Thank I you think it's much. also really important that viewers, um, if you know anybody who's older yeah. or who is disabled, who may get left behind, the BBC runs a help scheme to help those people. Lovely. So we've got a, a line to actually help them as well. Lovely. Thank you so Splendid much. Stuff. We appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Right, OK. Now, uh, you might... Also tonight, if you're watching, you probably haven't had a problem with the digital switchover, but lots of people have, and Dave's here to explain. That's right, yes. Many people have found programmes they didn't expect to find on their TV today. So, even if you're watching us, your friends and family might not be able to. Confused? I'll explain later. Thanks, Dave. But first, tonight... No, I do. We do hope that you are receiving us loud and clear tonight because it seems the digital switchover caused a few problems for some viewers today. Yes, after retuning their sets this morning, they found BBC Northwest had apparently disappeared uh, to be replaced by BBC Wales or, in some cases, BBC Midlands. So what's been going on? Dave has been investigating. Dave. Thank you. Yes, according to this little chap, Digital, it was all going to be so simple. BBC Two's analogue signal would be switched off overnight in phase one of the big digital switchover. And indeed it was. People with free view sets and boxes were told they should retune using their remote control and all would be well. But things are never simple, are they? We've had a steady stream of emails through the day from viewers who've been having problems after retuning. What a farce was the verdict of John Richards from Newtonley Willows. He says he's been unable to find any BBC digital channels today. So, has it been a farce? Well, not according to Digital UK. We think it's been a pretty successful campaign with about 97% of uh, people in the North West who've already switched successfully to digital TV and about 98% who are very comfortable with it. But Jeff Todd is far from comfortable with it. He fumed, the boffins have had long enough to get it right, but we get the same old incompetence. The reason for his outburst? Well, along with many others, he tuned in for North West Today at lunchtime and instead of seeing Gordon over there, he got the local news from Wales. Sally Dutton from Tarpley has been getting Midlands today. She pleads, will I be able to watch Gordon and Ramvia? Well, in the guest household, we suddenly acquired BBC Leeds on the bedroom TV. So, why have we all lost BBC North West? You'll find that the North West services are still there. They're just at a higher number, probably in the 800s. Now, you can actually put your favourite services back in your familiar position, if you want to do that, by going to the menu of the, uh, of the handset and edit channels and uh, or, or uh, your your favorites and uh, that way you can uh, you, you can put them back at, back at the top again so if you've got family or friends who are having difficulty seeing us pop out and tell them that they should be going down the menu well all this of course will happen again on december the second when all analog signals are switched off 
and we have yet another retune. Now, some of you have been complaining of difficulty getting through to the helpline, and it seems the websites have problems too this afternoon. Sorry that people have had those problems because obviously it's a busy day today with it being the first switch over day in the northwest. The, those lines will be particularly uh, busy. But we have got uh, more than 30 advice points throughout the northwest. We've also got uh, road shows around the place. And those places include Wigan tomorrow. So if you want to put your own questions to the switchover team, they'll be at the Grand Arcade aboard the BBC bus. If you can't get to the bus, well, try the Digital UK helpline on 08456 50 50 50. I know it's been busy today and it's been difficult, but the message from them is please bear with them. Thank you very much, Dave. Yeah, thank you indeed. I lost BBC One and Two myself this morning. You've got to go and find it down the menu. That's what you've got to do. Well, it just retuned itself when you went into the menu, so it was not too bad. Now, with a very and we have the.